having fun what yet or what? Yeah, I think so. This is a great evening. Our next Emmy goes to an achievement that impacts not only everyone who works in television, but everyone who even owns or watches a TV. This award goes jointly to the International Organization for Standardization, the International Electrotechnical Commission, and the International Telecommunication Union, the Geneva, Switzerland organizations that oversaw the joint video team that created the standard by which HDTV is delivered. The joint video team's work headed a truly global pro project that succeeded with the cooperation of a number of electronics um, corporations, excuse me, I'll have another drink, thank you, <laughs> of um, a number of electronics corporations. You'd think that would be an easy word to say. Um, each contributed significantly to the final development of the HD TV standards adopted by the JVT, thus sharing in this achievement. The Academy wishes to acknowledge those corporations at this time, so would those present please uh, stand up when the company name is announced. With special thanks from the Engineering Awards Committee for bringing the JVT effort to our attention, Panasonic. Can you stand up? There we go, over there. Broadcom, in the back there. Decomo NTT. Tacoma, there we go. Dolby. HHI. Microsoft. Sony. And Thompson. A round of applause, please, for all of the dedicated individuals at those companies. Here to accept the award is Malcolm Johnson, the director of the International Telecommunication Union. And joining him is Mr. Scott Jameson, who will receive the International Electrotechnical Commission and the International Organization for Standardization Emmys. We would also like to welcome to the stage the chair and co-chairs of the joint video team, Gary Sullivan of Microsoft, A.J. Luthra of Motorola, and Thomas Wiegand of the Heinrich Ertz Institute of Berlin. Gentlemen, if you'll join me up on stage, please. Thank you. Well, it's a, a great uh, honor for me to be here uh, this evening to receive uh, this beautiful uh, award and to speak to you on uh, behalf of uh, the International Telecommunications Union, the ITU, the International Electrotechnical Commission, the IEC, and the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, and uh, the latter represented it by Scott uh, Jameson behind me. Well, international standards have uh, played a, a significant role in the development of uh, telecommunications and the entertainment industry. And uh, these three organizations have certainly uh, played their part. Uh, from uh, Still Picture, JPEG, and uh, Motion Picture, MPEG, compression techniques, that uh, were developed by ISO and IEC, together with other standards that they've developed, such as uh, ISAN for fingerprinting uh, video products, and a number of uh, detailed technical specifications for uh, multimedia equipment and services. Uh, ITU has had a long uh, history of uh, close involvement with the broadcasting industry, going back to the days of Marconi and Tel, uh, Tesla, Baird and, and Bell. And up to today where the high definition televisions are all based on ITU standards. And uh, earlier this year, we adopted um, the first global standards for IPTV. 
Uh, one of the, uh, the most exciting things we are working on in ITU at the moment is uh, standards for 3D uh, TV. So going to this uh, amazing uh, video codec that uh, we have been awarded for this evening, H264 MPEG-4 AVC, to give it its uh, abbreviated title. <laughs> <laughs> can be found in, in Blu-ray, um, YouTube, iPhone, products uh, at the cutting edge of uh, today's information and communication technologies. And uh, many companies broadcasting, uh, cable, video conferencing, um, consumer electronic companies, they're all using uh, this standard in their new products. So H264 MPEG-4 AVC, it's a pity we didn't have a more cute title, <laughs> uh, is the jewel in the crown of international uh, standards collaboration. Uh, this standards versatility uh, has been recognized and uh, applauded by a wide spectrum of industries. Its um, widespread adoption is a testament to the flexibility and efficiency that has been engineered by a team of people from these three organizations that have dedicated themselves to achieving this goal. It also demonstrates a, a sincere and strong belief in international standards. Uh, the strength of an international standard is something that globally, global industry requires these days. I'm proud to be receiving this award in recognition of the work of the experts in our joint video team. Three of these people are on the stage uh, with us. Gary Sullivan, Thomas Weglan, and A.J. Luthra are three of the four uh, current chairmen of the JVT. Uh, without uh, the expertise of these three and their uh, colleagues in the JVT, uh, we wouldn't be here today. Uh, we thank all these individuals for their effort in putting their great engineering expertise into the development of this standard. And uh, we thank uh, their companies and those that have been recognized this evening for supporting this work. Ladies and gentlemen of the Academy, together with uh, Scott Jamieson, the uh, chairman of the ISO IEC Joint Technical Committee for Information Technology and the JVT uh, Chairman. I thank you most sincerely for this award. It's a very proud evening for ITU, ISO and IEC. Thank you very much. <laughs>